Hi, I'm Jesse with Living Tree Community Foods. And with the change of seasons and the harvest, we thought that we would make a seasonal green smoothie, something that amplified the fruits of the wonderful harvest here in California. So uh, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is to use a liquid base and rather than use spring water, which is fine, if it comes in a glass bottle, it's altogether fine. But rather than do that, let's be even more energetic. Let's start using a base of orange juice. So here I have an organic orange, of course. We're going to squeeze the orange. orange pits and all. some Concord grapes. These grapes are simply magnificent. And we're going to add them. They're filled with a magnificent juice. So we'll add them to our green drink. Still preparing the liquid base. here what appears to be a red flame grape also grown in the Central Valley about 50 miles east of us we'll that too. and then we'll add some tomatoes the tomatoes are at their peak right now the market is flooded with them and these are Heirloom organic tomatoes. We'll add those. And um, let's just give this a blend to see where we're at. Doesn't that make a magnificent looking base for our smoothie? It's a magnificent reddish purple. Okay. Next we want to add a pomegranate. Why not? Pomegranates have just appeared on the market. Isn't that a, a beautiful rich color? Just, and I find a very simple way to use it is just slice it laterally and just squeeze the, the seeds into our drink. So here we go. Mm 
pomegranates are just filled with antioxidants. And uh, let's add some more wonderful things. Let's add some okra. This is okra, also grown right here in this California wonderland, put using the whole in, uh, okra in its entirety. And then we want to, we want to add, um, let's add another okra. And then we want to add a cucumber. Okay, stop. We want to add a cucumber. So let's just uh, slice that up and put the cube in our mixture. And uh, then we're, go we're going to add some ginger. Ginger is such a health-giving, health-giving vegetable. We'll use that and we'll add a slice of ginger. And then we'll add some garlic, one clove. I happen to love garlic myself. Here we go, love garlic. Okay. And now let's go ahead and blend all of this up. We're going to add the we're going to add kale. I have a Russian red kale here, and I'm just going to uh, use it just as it is. And I'm going and also the stems are so important. By all means, you use the stems as well as the uh, as the leafy part. And then I'm going to add some collard greens, just harvested a day or two ago. I got these at the Berkeley Farmers Market right here. And in all my experience of over 40 years of all my experience of over 40 years in the food industry, the most health giving thing that you can do for yourself is to have a green smoothie for breakfast and for dinner also, well, as well as other fruits and vegetables too. But nothing can be more healing, in my opinion, than finely divided greens. And talking about finely divided greens, I want to supercharge this. I want to supercharge this with some wheatgrass. So I'm going to take a clump of wheat, wheatgrass right now. And I'm going to add that to our mixture. Slanted those flakes. And if you think about it, for those of you who do not want Fukushima in your food, these are from Iceland, separated by a, by a continent on one side 
and a continent on, uh, on the other side from the waters of Japan. So here we go. And now let's blend that up. So this would be, so this is our autumnal green drink. Let's pour some of this out. As you see, it's rich and thick and wonderful. And let's it, of course, tasting is believing. So let's try a bit of this. It's just filled with life forces. Here at Living Tree Community, we feel that there are three pillars of a live food diet. The first pillar consists of finely divided greens in the form of green smoothies. The second pillar consists of vigorous exercise and we recommend any we, we especially recommend classes in martial arts in yoga in tai chi in jazzercise even or whatever we're not in favor of jogging we're in favor of rhythmic movements nothing can take the place of rhythmic movements and uh, especially done to music I myself do capoeira, it's the only martial art that's done to drums and tambourines and whatever, and a mar marvelous institute, uh, instrument called the Bernambel. And I find that this is um, essential, especially if you're one of those, like myself, who sits in front of a screen all day long, some type of exercise in the morning and at night is utterly essential, it is utterly essential. The third component or pillar of a live food diet consists of intermittent fasting. And this is a wonderful thing and um, I've practiced this so much that I simply cannot do without this. I, I begin my fast Sunday night and I end it on Tuesday morning. So when you think about it, it's actually a 36 hour fast. And I, uh, I, I fast on water. That makes a whole lot of sense for me. I drink as much water as I feel good about. Spring water, bottled spring water, of course, that's the only thing available here in Berkeley. And that's the third pillar of our uh, live food diet. By no means is it the entire answer to the e epidemics that are going around of long-term uh, of long-term serious illness but at least it's a start it's a beginning there are other things too such as stress for example such as spirits such as enthusiasm such as depression all of which have a great deal to do with one's level of health and well-being I will be the first to say but this is at least a start. Live food, living, streaming green drinks, vigorous exercise, and intermittent fasting. Those are the pillars. If you get this now, you'll find that this makes, this will invigorate your life. And even if you follow such a diet for two or three weeks, weeks or so, even in such a small period of time, you'll find an enormous change in your overall level of health and of well-being. And that's really what it's all about. We live in such a stressful world with, uh, uh, I think people work harder and more intensively, intensively than in any other period of human history. And we have to take, we have to take measures to offset that sort of thing. So here you have it. 
living green, uh, living green grains. And all you need is just an oil. You don't have to go out and buy some sort of, of expensive blender or, or whatever. For $28, you can go into uh, into Macy's or Walmart's or anywhere else and buy just an ordinary uh, just an ordinary blender. That's all you need. Learn how to grow your own wheat grass. It's really, really very, very simple. And patronize your farmer's markets. Most important of all, try to grow your own greens as much as possible in your front yard, in your backyard, or if you live in an apartment, join a community garden. Those are a couple tips towards energizing ourselves for the days ahead. For the, for the days ahead. Thank you indeed. Let's go forward. And I want to wish you and family good health, prosperity, and success in everything you do.